didn't happen. Police said Manziel will not face any criminal charges. Skip, what's your reaction? Molly, Stephen A, our fans here, look, we have discussed this to death, but I feel obligated to state my case one maybe last time here. Johnny Manziel has big issues off the field. He went to rehab last off season. It clearly did not take. I believe he needs another rehab. I believe he needs to look in the mirror, face his problems, and attempt to come to grips and control his problems, or he will have no shot in the NFL because I don't believe he'll have much of a shot in life. And I appreciate your setup here because the scariest quote I've heard so far is Johnny Manziel, according to WFAA-TV in Dallas, saying to her, shut up or I'll kill us both. If that isn't the classic, I just hit bottom, desperate quote, I don't know what is. And yet, now we have the same woman for the second time alleging that Johnny struck her. In this case, she said he struck her so hard in the ear that as she was interviewed by the police, she still had not regained her hearing in said ear. Yet, for the second straight time, the first time in suburban Cleveland, now in Fort Worth and in Dallas, the police, for reasons beyond me, opted not to charge Johnny Manziel. I don't know the details. I don't know the testimony. I just find it highly suspicious, and that's just my two cents from a distance. I will say for the record that Lisa Friel, who now heads the investigative team that looks into to alleged domestic violence of NFL players, went to Cleveland after the first incident in suburban Cleveland and interviewed Johnny. I, I don't know if she interviewed the alleged victim, but I, I hope she did. I'm going to assume she did. And the NFL chose not to punish Johnny Manziel. I am also going to assume that Lisa Friel will be back on this case quick, fast, and you, as you say, in a hurry. I'm hoping she will again interview Johnny. I'm hoping she will again interview, for a second time, the alleged victim. And I am hoping that Johnny Manziel gets punished, and punished harshly by the league for what our law enforcement has failed to punish him for. That's just my two cents from a distance, from what I know, from what I read. I've, I've seen and heard enough of this, and I hope the NFL now takes action. I hope Lisa Friel doesn't waste her time flying to Cleveland, Dallas, or wherever else he is. I don't think it's necessary. I don't think it's necessary to talk to the alleged victim in all of this. It's not necessary. If it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, mm -hmm. it ain't a damn mongoose, it's a duck. And the fact of the matter is, is that when you look at Johnny Manziel and the totality of the transgressions that he has, is alleged to have committed, enough's enough. Now, he might engage in, in deniability or plausible deniability because nobody may have seen it and he may have said this didn't happen, this didn't happen, that may, that may, not, may or may not have happened. We don't know the facts. We were not there. We're getting uh, interpretation from her and what have you. But here's the reality. People in the NFL throughout recent history have been punished not just because of the preponderance of evidence they, you know, veered against them, but also because of the perception and how it sullies the shield, sure. the NFL brand. Mm -hmm. So when you take all of those things into consideration, there's nothing that's required on the part of the NFL. As you have they been, say, the personal that's conduct right, that's right. code the has personal, been violated, that's right. right? The personal conduct code yeah. has been violated. Mm -hmm. Alcohol, rehabilitation clinic. Mm -hmm. Allegations of things other than alcohol, mm -hmm. rehabilitation clinic, police report, mm -hmm. side of the road in Cleveland, yep. police report, Texas, both involving potential violence upon a woman. What else do you need? The <laughs> fact is, is that these are the things that have been reported. These are the things that have been said in the court of law. Johnny Manziel should and shall have his day. But last time I checked, there have been people, whether it be on this show, on various other shows, whether it be television or radio or uh, newspapers and beyond, the court of public opinion, they have been vilified, they have been excoriated, and they have been dealt with in the court of public opinion because of the preponderance of evidence faced against them because ultimately somebody's asking you, why you? Why of all the people in the world do you 
find yourself in this situation because you have an obligation to make sure that you're removed from all of that. I could be innocent until the cows come home. But if you find yourself in the news time and time and time again for legal issues, ESPN going to call me in the office and they're going to be like, look, bro, you, 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 need, you need to sit down. You need to go home. You understand? Know You're lucky if we call you back because we're tired of our name mm -hmm. being associated with your name yep. for this nonsense. You got it. That's the real world. Johnny Manziel has to sit down. And in my opinion, you listen to these reports, and they're talking about how there's somebody else that's going to come up, and he's confident that they're going to pick him up. I said this before, and I'll say it again. I know that the NFL Players Association has a problem with collusion, and they should because you don't want owners communicating with one another to ostracize somebody from the league. There are exceptions to yep. every rule. I think this is one of those rules where the owners should get together and say, at least for next season, nobody touches Johnny Manziel because you can't have this kind of stuff happening. Greg Hardy had to sit down. Ray he Rice did. has had to sit mm -hmm. down. Adrian Peterson had to sit sure. down. They got their money, but they had to sit down. But the reason why they got their money is because they were big-time players before they got into the trouble. If Johnny ain't getting paid, it's because you weren't a big-time player who garnered that contract. So that's your problem. In the end, your actions, your transgressions, yep. the perception that you have allowed to perpet be perpetuated to the point where it's sullying the name of the shield, the brand, those three letters. It cannot be tolerated. Yep. The man has to sit down. I wish Johnny Manziel nothing but the best. My heart goes out to him Same and his way. family. I'm not rooting anything against him. But the brother seems out of control. It is time that he sits down and sits down for the year. He should not be allowed to play the entire 2016 season. I am so with you. And I apologize to the thank you. I apologize to the fans here who have asked me, hey, where would be the best fit for Johnny? Nowhere. Just know I can't even deal with football right now. Yep. This is so much deeper. And, it, it, and I applaud you both for saying that, not needing visuals yeah, to say that. Because that's, right. that's, that's been what's been occurring in the past. We had yeah, to wait for pictures correct. and videos, and we have none, and we don't need them. Jason Witten, fairness to him, mm -hmm. and, you know, when they talked about all of this noise about Jerry Jones and possibly bringing him to the Cowboys, Jason Witten did say that he would support, but did we support the move yep. of Johnny Manziel coming to the Cowboys? But he only prefaced it by saying, I would support whatever Jerry Jones and mm -hmm. Stephen Jones do. Mm -hmm. They run the organization. I'm a player. So he wasn't saying yep. that like with Johnny Manziel. He's just saying anybody that they elect to bring I in, got it. he will support. Deion Sanders has a strong opinion about yes. Johnny to Dallas. Mm -hmm. We'll ask him about that. Yes, of yeah. course. And unfortunately, his agency can no longer support him. IMG has just dropped Johnny Manziel. Wow. The biggest matchup this weekend is the Super Bowl, but we have a game that could be even bigger. The Warriors host the Thunder. That's across the bay in Oakland. I know you guys all love that out here in the bay. The guys that make their picks were live from San Francisco 49ers.